All right, so I know a lot of you guys are having some trouble with the Lucky Pick 2 as well as Lucky Pick 3. And the main reason why a lot of people are having trouble is because of this. All damage reduced except for crit damage. Or incoming damage from non-crit attack is decreased by 95%. That is an insane amount of reduction, all right? So particularly for this kind of stage, you will want to use all the cookies that are able to increase or your overall crit percentage right which includes someone like rockstar includes someone like uh if possible uh mala sauce is also a great option uh that is a total of uh 25 35 and then if you just bring in the scythe uh then it's almost that that is a guarantee 100 percent crit all right uh that 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 is a cr that's 100 percent crit you can probably just uh use a team like this and you'll be perfectly fine here uh i would say Tartatan is literally going to be one of your best cookies to use in this particular game mode. Again, um, I don't think there is another cookie that can do the amount of damage that, um, you know, Tartatan is able to to do. All right. There's no other cookie that can out damage her in most cases. All right. For Mala Sauce. Uh, topping wise, I would say solid almond or full serve chocolate, depending on what you want to go for. But uh, yeah, something like this. Um, if you don't have mala sauce, another cookie that increases crit is going to be Carol. Uh, instead of Carol, um, the other cookies is oyster. Oyster also increases crit percentage, uh, 16.5. Uh, Pattaya has the increased crit for just the fire breath as well. Other cookies, Macaron is another one. Uh, we have Blackberry, who is another one. So you can use any of those cookies as well. Uh, but yeah, I would say something like this is probably going to work out. Just make sure your Tartatan has enough damage resist because you're not using Whistle anymore. I would say make sure to use all your skills uh, before you use someone like Tartatan. All right, so that you know you have the 100% crit. All right. Because you want it, you want that 100% crit before you use the cookies. Oh yeah, sparkling is another one. You are right. Yeah, you are 100% right. Sparkling is another cookie with the uh, with the ability to crit. Wow, there you go. Tartan literally just destroys them with the 100% crit. Goodness gracious, that one shot and the boss literally exploded. But yeah, there you guys go. And now onto the lucky pick three. Lucky pick three is another one that's kind of annoying. I, I, Tartan is just so good. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so this one has the uh, the Coco Mambo. Coco Mambo. All right, this one's the one that uh, throws the coconuts and stuff. For this one, I would probably just recommend... Like, the best team that you can probably go is this. So the Lucky Pick 3 doesn't have the debuff that decreases the overall damage uh, if it's not crit. So you don't need to worry about the crit percentage. But I would say if you can build a team that is tanky, then building a team like this is going to be the best. Um, if it doesn't, then, um, you know, I would say replace Pattaya with Wallberry. All right. Um, and stuff like that. Other ones... Probably like yeah, just I would say Tartatan can be replaced with any of the like good DPSs. Like Black Pearl is probably another good one uh, to use against bosses within the world exploration. Um, Sherbet might work. I don't know if the boss is uh, immune to debuffs. All right. Uh, tanks full solid almond unless it's Pattaya. Pattaya is full searing raspberry, full sweet chocolate, full searing raspberry, full sweet chocolate. So here we go. All right, here we go. Let's see how it, how this goes, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hollaberry dying. If Hollaberry is taking a lot of damage like this, all right, uh, mine has full sort of chocolate, then I suggest you use a full solid on it, all right, so that your your, your Hollaberry is not dying. Because remember, mine is a five-star ascension one. Whoa, this is close. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Whoa, I actually died here. Oh, well, then I guess um, I will have to do this again.
<sighs> my hollow berry did not die, but my rock star and Tartar Tan died. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's switch out some. You can you can do that. You can put full solid almond on everybody. That that would be perfectly fine too. It would work. Full solid almond, full serve chocolate, full serving raspberry, full serving raspberry, and full serve chocolate. I don't think we need the extra, the the healing. Just need the uh, damage. There definitely is gonna be more ways of beating this than this build that I am doing. You don't need to use this build. There we go. Nice rock star. And on. Whoo! He died, but he didn't die. Ha <laughs> ha There we go. Ain't no one gonna ask about losing. Yeah, Tartar Tan literally just doing casual 12 million damage. You know what I'm saying? There you guys go. But yeah, I can see why this is gonna be hard for some players. Um, I don't, I don't know how many players are actually like, you know, non-super stack teams are going to be able to do this uh, without like completely dying all the time. Pattaya is gonna be great still. Uh, you know, Tartar Tan will do majority of your damage. Uh, you can use someone like Wildberry to increase your overall uh, damage resist, but it seems like the boss is going to just do a certain amount of damage anyways, like 90% anyways. So it's not like Wildberry might even save you. Uh, maybe you can use Wildberry to deal some damage, but it will just uh, depend on what you guys have. So that those, those are the two ways I guess uh, you guys can try out and beating uh, Lucky Pick 2 and Lucky Pick 3.